Alrighty. Um, I have a bolster or a pillow nearby. Have a a strap or a um dripping gown belt nearby. If you haven't got one, don't worry. You can do without it. It's just it can be a bit helpful. Um, I'm gonna have a brick actually as well, just to lean on. Um, if you haven't got a brick, don't worry. You could use your pillow or your bolster. So just have some bits nearby that you can grab. We're gonna start standing up, doing a double breath in and a long breath out. So this is one of the fastest ways we can calm the nervous system. So you just wanna breathe in through the back of your nostrils once and then twice. So big breath in like that. Fill the lungs, fill the lungs a bit more and then just let the breath sigh out of your mouth. So take a comfy stance, let's wriggle the ankles, plant the heels, slightly soften the knees and take a double breath in with the hands and then hands down the center as you breathe out. Double breath in and breathing out. See if you can breathe out of your nostrils and create a very soft kind of ocean-like sound on the exhale. Or if it's more comfortable breathing out of your mouth, just let the breath come out in a big, long kind of whoosh. Breathe in, breathe in. So breathe in and then in and out. Breathe in, in and out. Remember to keep the weight in the heels, not in your toes. We want to feel this in our bum, not in your shins or your knees. Try and keep your chest lifted. Can you see how I'm not bending forward like that? I'm lifting my chest the whole time. Couple more. Ah. Beautiful. Come to the front of your mat and do some lovely big backward swimming movements. Mobilize the shoulders. Start to get some blood flow around the shoulders. And place the arms in the back of the sockets. Let's look at the hands as you unwind them. Beautiful. And then just drop your head, stretch the back of your neck. And then drop your shoulders and then take the whole of the shoulder girdle and the head around in a big circle, rolling, massaging out all the crinkles. That's the way. One direction, pause, and then start blowing in the other direction. Get the knees bent. Keep your feet planted. Beautiful. Push the floor away, breathe in, take the hands up, stretch. Exhale, hands above the knees, let the head drop, flowing down. Push the floor away, breathing in, rolling up, and breathing out, rolling down. So let's flow through the spine, stretching the whole body, releasing the whole body. Take it right to the fingertips. Inflate the body, deflate down. Good, this time just leave the hands above the knees. Press yourself into a tabletop. Push down and out with your feet and spread your sitting bones and then soften the knees. And then do that again, pushing down and out. We want to open up the back of the pelvic area, draw the ribcage slightly in, and then soften. Now you want to activate your back muscles a bit here. So we're not slouching, we're not tucking. We're active, shoulders are down away from ears. Resetting those back muscles. And let's just pause here. Ribcage in, chin in, looking at the ground, sitting bones lifted, push the floor down and out with your feet. 
little bit more hamstring, maybe just give those legs a bit of a rub. And then slowly come down, hands, give them a rinse, a roll and a rinse, a massage, and then place them down on the ground. Now imagine someone's got your tail and they're walking backwards with your tail. So they're walking backwards, keep your knees bent, take your bum back with your tail, roll the shoulders away from your ears, keep stretching out the spine until you've gone to full stretch, full length capacity. And then start to drop those heels one at a time, massage through the heels, massage into the calf muscles, take a deep breath in, Open your mouth and go, ha. Give your head a little shake as you release that breath. Let's do that one more time. Ha. See if you can shake your cheeks. You want to dance over the feet. Massage. Lift and roll the feet. And then give your knees a drop from one side to the other. Get into the hips. Very good. Drop both knees to the ground. Come straight into some cat cow, lifting the tail, tucking the tail. So we lift the tail on the breath in, and then we tuck on the breath out and we scoop the lower belly. We breathe in, we let the belly go, and then tuck. And make sure you're taking this all the way up the spine. Pause for a moment, pressing the upper back muscles into the ceiling and then draw the shoulders away from your ears, lift the heart, breathe out. And just do a few more rounds of cat cow. See if you can create that ujjayi breath, very soft Darth Vader kind of sound to your breath. Total, complete exhalation. So see if you can just get rid of all the stagnant air at the bottom of your lungs that might have accumulated through the day. Good. And then big swirling circles with that tail. Big, exaggerated circles, massaging the circles up through the torso into the shoulders. Really bird them around. Very good. Take your knees a little bit wider. Untuck toes if they were tucked. Right hand on right shoulder. Elbow's going to go up. So first of all, take the elbow down towards the ground and then swish it up with the breath in. And then drop down on the breath out. Slow, full breath in. Rotation. Breathing out. Slow, full breath in. See if you can take the elbow back a tiny bit more. Release. Go right to the end of that exhalation, maybe even a double breath in, like we started the practice with. Full breath out. One more. Now breathe out, but stay here. See if you can unfurl fingers towards the ceiling. And then swivel the head, look down at your other hand. Swivel back up and down. Mobilizing the head as if it is a lollipop on a stick. And then looking down, good. Take this hand slowly down behind you towards the pelvis. Keep looking at your left hand, lifting the right arm all the way back, very slow, full circle. Noticing are there any clunks and clicks? Good. Now take this hand and thread it all the way under. So we're going to go right across to the left side, drop the shoulder. Down towards the mat, you need to bend the knees more, chin's tucked in, turn the head, side of the head rests on the mat. Gently pressing that right shoulder into the ground. Maybe taking left hand onto hip, elbow up. Creates a bit more of a twist around the thoracic area of the spine where the bra strap is. Maybe even taking that hand up towards the ceiling. If that feels okay, keeping the chin Tucked right in. Good. 
Beautiful. Take the left hand down. Slowly unfurl that right hand. Slowly go back into full extension here. Good. Let's just rinse that shoulder. Rinse the elbow, the wrist. Take that right hand down. Left hand on left shoulder. Breathing in. Elbow back. Breathing out. Make sure you don't lock into your right elbow. Keep a tiny mini bend in that right arm. Oh, there we go. Already getting a bit more of a twist. Breathing fully in. Let's do a double breath in. And all the way out. Full exhalation. Breathing in, in. And then pause, keep breathing, don't stop breathing. Maybe unfurl fingers and then looking down and then turn the head to look up and looking down, looking up. Movement through a tense neck. Good, looking down. Let's just take this left hand very slowly down towards the pelvis. Pause to lengthen. Right up into your neck, all the way down. Big massage in backward circles. And that's it. Then take this top hand, oh, give it a stretch. Take the hand underneath, thread the needle all the way underneath, back of the shoulder onto the ground. Chin tucks right in, so this is important. Right on like that, side of the head resting on the ground. And maybe taking this hand onto the hip, maybe even up, and you're pressing the back of the shoulder into the ground. Oh, this is like a pretzel shape. Mm. The royal wave. Hello. All right. Hand down on the ground, slowly unfurl. Oh, that feels better. Fantastic. Take the elbows wide on your mat. Hands up towards the ceiling as if you're praying. Knees wide. Now drop your chest to the ground. Your bum needs to stay high. Drop your chest down. So you want to try and get your chest onto the ground. Chin tucks down. As you breathe out, see if you can slide your knees a tiny bit further apart, sink a little bit closer to the ground, stretch into the armpits. Very good. Slowly come up onto forearms. Now, if you have a bolster, you might whoa, put your forearms on the bolster. Take your right foot out to the side. Let me get this strap up way. Right foot out to the side. Toes straight forward. I'm going to go like that so you can see my toes get it's Toes straight forward. And you just slide your bum back. So keep that right leg as lengthened out as you can. Come forward and then just slide back. Drawing the tail back. So we're opening up that adductor muscles. Drawing back. Yeah, now we're going to pause here and maybe take that bolster out in front of you so you can stretch into the armpits and under the arms as well. Stretch the spine, take a nice deep breath in. Hold the top of the breath and then go ah, sigh out and release down. Very good, slowly bring yourself up. Get that foot out to the side. Slide the hand down towards the knee, up and over, lateral stretch. Gate pose, like that. Nice deep full lateral stretch. I'm just going to swing around a little bit so you can see me here. Now take this top hand, slide it down onto the ground, or 
if you've got your bolster there, onto the bolster. And up and over the other side. Oh, body stretch. That's it. And then take this top arm and just see if you can take it behind you slightly. And then turn your head and look at the ground. Ah, pointing the toe, stretching out through the middle finger, opening up these pectoral muscles, opening up the scalenes of the neck here. Beautiful, just slide yourself down again. Forearms on bolster, swirl your bum. Well, your shoulders. I'll do that on the other side. So I'm just gonna kind of move around here. Yeah. The one you can see me. Don't look at my hair. Right, foot out to the side. Toes straight forward. Bum slides back, and then come forward again. Bum slides back. So we want to just open slowly into these inner thigh muscles here. Good. And then just settle. If you've got a bolster, send it out in front of you. Send your tail back, leg out to the side, hands on bolster. Breathing in. <sighs> side of breath out. Woo. Lovely. It's good. Before we go to bed, to. Um, just open up all of the joints, lengthen all the muscles. Gate pose. The hand slides down towards the, the foot. Toes are straight forward. Other arm up and over. So hip and rib cage drawing apart. That's the way. You press your knee into the ground, you'll find that you get a little bit more length up over to your fingers. As the fascia under the skin surface starts to open up. Good. And then if you've got your bolster here, you can plant your hand on that. Otherwise, the floor coming into oh big full body stretchy stretch. Good. And let's take this top hand, send it up towards the ceiling, or maybe even slightly behind you. And then turn your head, swivel your head, looking down. Hopefully you can feel it right here. Those chest muscles. Very good. Fantastic. Come onto your, uh, your knees. Take your left foot forward. I'm trying to keep my bolster here to lean on. If you had a brick instead, you could use your brick. And just rock yourself back and forth. So foot slightly out to the side. So this is a kind of a lizard foot we've got going on here. Slightly out to the side. And rocking back and forward so that we can open the groin, open the hamstrings. So let's just pull it back. Now, if you had a handy strap nearby, you could hook it around the ball of your foot. If you find that going into hamstrings and calf muscles makes everything shake and it's a bit awful, then having a strap just around the ball of the foot can help. So draw shoulders down away from your ears and we want to swivel forward from the hip joint here rather than, you know, if I do that with my leg straight, I'm not getting a stretch. But if I have my knees slightly bent and my back straight and my bum up behind me, then I'm getting a stretch. And then I can start to pull the toes gently towards me, the ball of the foot. And it's a much bigger, broader stretch. Going right up into the glutes, right into those hamstrings there. A bit of a rub. Good. And then foot out to the side again and just lean forward into a lunge. I've got my handy bolster here, so I'm just going to put my forearm onto the bolster, lean down, tuck back toes. So this is quite a deep stretch, so if this is enough where you are, stay here for breathing. If you want to go a bit further, tuck toes, and then push the heel away from you so that you open right down to the groin, right over into that back leg. 
Very good. Drop the knees towards each other. I'm going to take my forearms on this bolster again. Knees together and just swish the hips from side to side. And so you're swishing and dropping the hips. This gets right into this IT band, going right down into the uh, outer thigh muscles outside the pelvis. Rock, rock and drop, rock and drop. Very good. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. So toe out on an angle and either on a brick or a bolster, something just to bring the ground up a bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because it, the propensity is if we're here and see what happens around my back, tuck my tail. Whereas if I bring the ground up, then I can keep my back a bit straighter and we know that opens the legs a bit more. So rocking back and forward. And then just pause a little bit here in the, in the lunge. Knee goes in the same direction as the toes. That's it. Beautiful. And then coming back. And then if you do have a strap, maybe hooking it around the ball of the foot. Again, imagine someone's got your tail. It's an annoying person who's always behind you grabbing your tail, but there we go. They're pulling your tail back. And woo, right into the hamstring and calf stretch. Lovely. Let's just take that forward back into the lunge. Maybe tuck and toe. Maybe pushing out through the heel to take the knee slightly off the ground. If that's if that feel, feels available, otherwise we're going to a pretty deep stretch here too. So you need to be able to slowly, fluidly breathe. So if there's any holding of the breath, bring it back. Bring it back. Alrighty. Ooh, that's good. Let's just come and sit for a moment. So options. If you've got a bolster, slide it under your bum. This is called Virasana, so you want to take your calf muscles out of the way. So it's not W sitting, your feet hand out to the side, feet are pretty much underneath you. If your legs don't like this, sit cross-legged or on the edge of your sofa. But we want to uh, make sure that the spine can be long. So start off just cat and cow in a seated position, hands slide down thighs, around the spine, and then lift the heart center, pull the elbows back, lift the neck and the chin, breathe out, breathe in, make this really exaggerated, so your shoulder blades squeeze together at the back, and then spread apart, squeeze, and then spread apart. Good, and one more. One, we'll come back into the center, take a deep breath in, slowly float the fingers up, and then go. Good. Now, if you have a strap, grab that. If you don't, you're just going to have to pretend for a moment. If you have a strap, grab the belt in so you don't hit yourself in the head, and slide your arms up. You want to pull the belt apart. So if you haven't got something, you're just holding your, um, your fists like that. Shoulders down away from your ears. First of all, just big circles. I bet you've all got something. Big circles, great. Now, what we're trying to do is mobilize the rib cage as well as the shoulder girdle. So you might have to swell your pelvis a bit as well. Imagine the whole of the torso as well as your shoulders are swirling around the inside of a cylinder. Imagine you're one of those I'm going to count something really stupid now. Um, <laughs> you're mixing a smoothie or something. It's the whole thing around like that. One direction, other direction. Big circles. Get the shoulders moving. That's the way. And then just floss the shoulders. So bend one elbow, other arm straight. Draw them behind you up. 
and then bend the elbow behind you, putting this arm down, up and over. Now, rib cage needs to be putting back towards your spine. So just make sure you're not arching your back here. Good. And then up. Now, all the way over again, stretching out in front of you. And then all the way up. Now, you might just make your arms a bit wider here and see how far you can go back. And then gently lift the chin. Here we go. We'll go one more time. All the way forward, rounding, stretching the upper back muscles. And then all the way up, straight back. Pull the chin up. Very good, come back into the center, drop down to one side. Now I'm having to push through the front of this foot and shin into the ground, layering the ribs. Tummy bump to spine, come up to the center and over to the other side. Rib cage flaring out under the armpit. Tummy bump to spine, come into the center, drop the hands in front of you, swirl to one side, twist. And then up and onto the other side. Twist. Good. Just drop your strap. Okay, so taking the right hand, the heel of the hand, against the head here. First of all, just give your head a little move from side to side, swiveling the lollipop on the lollipop stick. Notice how far around you can go. Then take the hand onto the temple, draw your chin back, let it go forward and then draw it back again. Now press your head into your hand, resist with your hand, keep drawing the chin back. You know the mother cat thing I do, imagine the back of your head has been lifted up by a mother cat, you are a kitten. So just create a bit of space in the back of your neck. Keep pressing head and hand, and breathing. Yeah, just dropping that hand. And just give yourself a little look around. That's definitely better. Oh my crikey, let's do this side now. So left hand onto temple, pressing, make sure shoulders away from ears, pressing head into hand. Heel of the hand just on your temple. Breathing. Take a moment to imagine a string is attached to the crown of your head and the string is just being very gently drawn up towards the ceiling. Good, and then drop and turn, good. Let's just have a little swivel here. Fantastic. Now, tilt your head to the side so the right ear is going up slowly. Take your left hand onto the right side of your head. Now push your head into your fingers and resist with your fingers. So be a bit gentle, so don't go full capacity here. Gently pushing head into fingers. Now see if you can soften your exhalation and as you soften your exhalation, imagine a weight has just been put on your shoulder. Good, now gently bring your head back into the center and then pull this left ear up towards the ceiling. Take the right hand on the outside of the, the head, on the left side, pressing the head into fingers, resisting the fingers. And then again, just imagine a weight has been put on your shoulder here. That's the way. Now, I'm just going to do a little different angle here. Tilt your chin to the right and just up slightly. Things on the front of your head. So now you're pushing forward whilst you're trying to pull your head. So you're trying to push your head forward, putting fingers back. Do that on the other side. So looking up towards the left hand side, fingers 
just by the uh, above the left eyebrow, pushing forward, gently pulling back. Wonderful. Interlace the hands, place the hands behind your head at the ridge. Now stick your chin out and then pull your chin back in. Give yourself a double chin, push your head into your hands and then release it again. Chin goes out and then pull it back, double chin. Just do that a couple of times. So chin releases out, chin pulls in, chin releases out, chin pulls in. Now keep it here and press your head into your hands and resist. Elbows out. Good. Now, fingertips on to clavicles, chin drops, and then as you slowly draw your chin up, your fingers roll over your clavicles and draw down all the way up. And then release the chin down. Take the fingers back up again. Breathe in, down, breathe in. Now, now if you feel like you need to just do a bit on the side, try that. So chin in, right hand here, just going across almost to the right shoulder, that direction. And then a little move up to the left and down. Do that the other way. So. Chin going over to the right, fingers drawing slightly to the left. Yeah, let's just massage these shoulders up and back, up and back. Big squeeze up towards your ears and slide them down. Big squeeze and slide down. Take the arms out, stretch out through the fingers. Lift the fingers up, push the heels of the hands away from you. It's not comfortable. Breathe in and then hum your breath out as you do this nervy, stretchy, squeezing action. Breathe in. So toning the nervous system by stretching into the nerves as we create that long vibrational breath out. One more. Beautiful. Take this right hand right across the body, lock it into place with the left arm, pulling out with the right arm, pull in with the left arm, and just get into the back of the shoulder, back of the upper arm. I'm going to just do a tiny tilt here with the head, not much, gentle. Breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> Breathe in, lift the heart, pull those fingers back, other way, crossing the arm, lock it into place, pulling out with that arm, pulling in with the locking arm. Maybe a gentle lift up with the air. Very good. Give your arms a bit of a loosey goosey swish, like crossing the body up and down. And then back. Oh, push. Take your bolster out from under your bum. <laughs> Take your feet out in front of you. Wide, hands behind you. Drop the knees from side to side. Get the blood flow back in those legs if it's gone a bit, a bit numb. Good. Now, am I rolling over? So my right knee rolling down. Take the hands to the front. You can always use your bolster to bring the floor up a bit. Push the floor away. You lift yourself so you bring your left leg behind you. Now, I've left my bolster too far away. So if you've got a bolster or a brick or something close by, slide it underneath your right bum and draw yourself down to rest as best you can in a pigeon. Now, I said this the other week, some people's hip bones will never do this. And that's okay. So you'll be here if your leg doesn't go behind you. You're here and you're just drawing yourself forward to stretch into your hips, into your glutes. If you're comfortable in pigeon, make sure your knee isn't painful, yeah? So 
Um, front knee mustn't be pinching. We're looking for a big global stretch around the pelvis. If it feels all right, slide yourself down. Like I said, if I brought my bolster with me, I'd have it here. I'm going to stack my fists instead and let my forehead just rest on fists. If you can easily come down to the ground, do that. Forehead maybe on the back of your hands. And you want to relax your shoulders. We've done all that work on your shoulders. Let your shoulders be really floppy. Cook spaghetti arms and shoulders. So you can allow that softness, that rubbery feeling of the shoulders to flow down into your pelvis. Breathing in, sign the breath out. <sighs> Good. Slowly push the floor away. Slide your legs out in front. Give your knees a little tap, tap, tap. And then left leg in front. I've got my balls for this time, so I can use it. So coming up, this back leg needs to go right behind you in the center. Slide yourself down. If you're going to use a brick, put it under your pelvis. Remember, we're always looking to have the back of the pelvis even, so flat across the back of the pelvis. What we don't want is to be going to one side like that or all the way over to the other side. We want to keep the sacrum, back of the pelvis, nice and evenly talked, so not twisted. Just settling into your pigeon. Some of you are used to doing a humming breath out in pigeons. So if you like doing the humming breath in this pose, then please do. It helps your whole body to relax. Mm, and it calms the mind. Very good. So we're going to slide onto our tummies next. So I'm going to keep my bolster here and slide onto tummy. And then go through a couple of cobras and then sphinx with, with the bolster. So hands by shoulders, elbows in, tops of the feet on the ground. Breathe in to lift the chest and breathe out. So we just want to get the upper back muscles so do a little wake up. Breathe in. And then if you have got a bolster, just slide the forearms forward. If you have, try this. You just shove it underneath your rib cage. Forearms on the other side. And then look, you're in a bolstered up sphinx pose, which the spine loves. If this is not feeling good on your lower back, try taking the feet wider. If that's still not good, you need to come down a bit and take the bolster away. Ah, shoulders relaxing. Hmm. Ah. Good. Four. Now I'm just going to literally roll straight back and onto my back here. So using either a brick or a bolster or a rolled up blanket, we're looking to open the rib cage and have the head drop back. So the sensation is like you're lying on the edge of the bed and you're just letting your head drop over the edge of the bed. So if it's okay on your shoulders, arms above you or out to the side, you might need to put a folded blanket under your bum or a brick under your bum. Or if it's too much of an angle on your neck, if that doesn't feel good, put an extra prop under your head. So it's a very light touch with your head. We're looking to have about a 45 degree angle through the chest. And then here, have a couple of 
double breaths again. So we breathe in, breathe in. And then let the breath just slide out of your lungs. If it feels all right, maybe knees out, feet towards each other, or even legs extended. Good. Ooh. Now I'm going to slide straight into bolstered pelvis here. If it feels like you just need to do a few rolls up and down your spine first, then go ahead. So you just be taking your bolster at the side, do a couple of rolls up and down the spine, just to sort of recalibrate the spine. And then once that feels, you might just take knees to chest a bit. In fact, let's all do that. Let's all take, take your pulse to the side, knees to chest. Just give yourself a little rock. In fact, I'll do a twist first. So have your bolster close by, but just come onto your back, massage the pelvis from side to side. In fact, we'll do our hamstring stretch here. One foot up towards the ceiling. See my toes are pulled down towards me. Let's just drop that other foot onto the ground. Rub the back of the leg. Massage the foot around. If you can do both at the same time, it's good for your brain. If that's not working for your brain, twirl your foot, pause, and then rub your leg. You might even want to slide that leg out. Then bend the knee. If you haven't slid the leg out already, do that. Slide the leg out and give yourself a full body stretch. Breathing in. Stretch. Oh. And then bring it out. And bring both knees in. Drop that right foot. Stick that left foot up. If you've got a strap close by, let me come up. You always use the strap. Swirling the foot, rubbing the hamstring, maybe sliding that other leg out, bending the knee, and then taking the right hand above the head as well. Big breath in. Squish. Lock. Very good. Knees up and then drop them to one side. This is all the way down. Give your lovely spine a lovely rinse. Looking out over the right shoulder. Ah, sigh the breath out. If the top leg feels like it needs to stretch out, then let it. But if it's not requiring that tonight, then just enjoy your, your spinal twist. Rinse and twist. And then other way. Shift the knees to the other side. And the head to the other side. Wonderful. Flushing of nutrients around the digestive organs when we do a twist. Good. Then coming back onto the back. So pushing the floor away, pushing the floor away, rolling up the spine, and then propping the pelvis. 
burns away. Make sure you move, jiggle, move a little bit so that it does feel like the lower back is having a stretch. You don't have the, you're not here, we're not in a supported bridge where you've got the pelvis supported. So the lower back muscles um, just above the pelvis are dropping off the edge of your pillow or bolster. Let's take both feet up towards the ceiling. Roll those feet. If you've got a strap, you can always bend the knees, hook the strap around the balls of the feet. And then just having a little play with this leg stretch, and maybe gently, gently, gently drawing the feet above the head. Making sure that your exhalation stays long. Bend the knees as much as you need to. So this is all about a long exhalation. Blood flow away from ankles and feet down into heart, head. Ah, long sighing breath out. I'm just going to slide my feet wider on the strap so knees can kind of drop down towards armpits, almost baby pros, half plow, half baby, half just made up thin. Very good. And then just bring yourself back. Oh, look at this. If I if you do this, your strap goes around the toes and bring your knees out to the side. This is quite nice. They go into an upside down cobbler. Ah. Well, that's good. All right. Let's just slide the bolster out from underneath the pelvis. Put your feet on it. If you haven't got a bolster, put your feet on the ground. Give your knees a little rinse again. So we go into kind of the front of the pelvis. And just release the lower back. And then really nice to have a bolster or bricks underneath the thighs so the feet can just drop out to the side. Turn the palms and face upwards. If you've got a blanket, just put it over you. Get yourself settled. Ah, to absorb that lovely bit of stretching and squeezing and releasing. Take a couple of changing breaths as you settle. Breathe in. And then just go, ha, ah, and let all the breath sigh out of you. Make sure you don't get cold. Then taking your mind's eye, internal mind's eye, up right to the very crown of your head. And just imagine that there are sparkling, swirling lights just at the crown of your head and they're dancing around the crown of your head, feeling a bit like you're under a power shower. And these sparkling lights look a little bit like the sparkles of sunlight on water. Imagine there's a warmth here as you can feel this dancing light and just imagine the crown of your head has opened and this light and this feeling of relaxation that you get on the crown with a power shower is flowing down around your brain and around the inside of your skull so that you can feel your brain relax and you can Feel the inside of your skull 
softening and especially the muscles around your eyes in between your brows, they just melt. And you can feel your jaw and your cheekbones softening. Even your nose is relaxing, your mouth muscles soften, tongue becomes heavy in the mouth, back of the head where the neck and the head intersect, all of that area softens and you can feel these sparkling lights expanding, filling the whole of your head cavity and all the way down the neck, flowing down the front and the back of the neck and expanding as the sensation of flowing, sparkling lights comes down through the chest and upper back a shower feeling of softness and relaxation flowing down and spreading. So the light is expanding and fusing through the whole of the upper body and down your arms, the front and the back of your arms and into the palms and the back of your hands and into fingers and even the space between your fingers, light, swirling, sparkling, expanding, amplifying light, flowing down through the torso, front of your belly area, into your back, around your intestines and organs, up and down your spine, Flowing, intensifying, expanding, swirling, cleansing light around your hip joints, into the pelvic floor area, buttocks, thighs. Light now through the whole of your upper body flowing into your lower body. Sparkling, expanding, energizing lights flowing now down thighs, front and back, through knees, all the cavities and the knees behind the knee bones, down into calves, through shin bones, down into ankles, swirling, intensifying, lubricating, flowing through soles of the feet, tops of the feet, into the toes, between the toes, feeling now the whole of your body from your toes, up your legs, up the torso, down your arms, up your neck, into fingertips, into your head. Flowing, expanding, pulsing light, cleansing your whole body with your awareness of this light, this energy, the prana, the life force, the chi that you are amplifying simply by bringing your awareness the sensation of sparkling light running through the whole of your body, the whole of your body, and the whole of your body, relax, absorbing your practice, the trillions and trillions of cells of your body lit up with your awareness, integrating your practice and healing, whole body lit up, whole body relaxed. Your attention to the coolness of the air in your nostrils, See if you can feel the pulse of your body responding to each gentle breath 
in and out. Gentle movement of breath in the nostrils and out. Beautiful. Just gently take your thumb and press it to your first finger, and then your second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Just do that a couple of times. At the same time, very gently move your head from side to side. Take a little bit of movement into your toes. And then keep with that feeling of the whole body being lit up as you give yourself a stretch. Imagine you are like phosphorescence in the ocean as you move and stretch. And then slowly flow back, taking your knees into your chest, very fluidly. Take the knees to the side. From that fetal position, when you're ready, just very slowly push the floor away. Again, just keep imagining this body of yours is lit up, like phosphorescence just moving through the ocean. And then sit. And take a moment. Just to feel the sensation of the air against your exposed skin. Feel the muscles of your body attached to your skeleton. Feel your spine nice and long and your shoulders broad. It's like a coat hanger supporting your body relaxed. No tension. Again, just noticing the breath coming in and out of its own accord, your body being breathed. Take the hands into the heart center, pressing the palms together. Turn the corners of your mouth up a little bit and just mentally say to yourself, for making the time to come and practice yoga, the yoking together of your mind and your body and your spirit, movement infused with breath. And he's saying to yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the love and light of me bows to the love and the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.